G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well today it's heliocentric suicide's turn. I wonder what sort of silliness he's done. So as you can see, um, I've clearly demonstrated that this gyroscope, or a drone gyroscope, which is what this is, can accurately, uh, what, what, let's see what, let's get your exact words because we don't want to get that wrong. Show that these drone flight controllers are capable of accurately displaying rotation at zero point. Okay, so I showed you that way more than that. You've got three decimal places. I gave you nine. Well, it seems like he's trying to prove that the Earth doesn't rotate. And he's gone and had a look at a common household drone gyro. And he's tried to use that. And he came up with a method that says, look, there is no movement. So I'm going to use much the same method and take the Australian $1 coin, which weighs about 9 grams, and I'm going to levitate it. And by levitate, I'm going to, I mean it's not going to have any weight. Have a look at this. So when you read it on the bathroom scale, zero. Therefore I proved this coin has no weight. What's that? What are you saying, heliocentric? Don't be a wally. That doesn't work that way. My point precisely, mate. Now you're starting to get it. So yeah, you've got to use the small scale, don't you? The one with the more accuracy, the one with a lower resolution that is able to resolve the nine grams. You kind of getting my point now? Look, if you don't trust me, have a listen to this guy. And for Sleeping Warrior, I think I'll bring in a subject matter expert on this one. Hi, I'm an electrical engineer and I am not allowed to show my face. It has come to my attention that some floodies are doing some physical tests. Congratulations for giving it a go. Unfortunately, it seems that some flatty who shall remain nameless, but let's call him Ducky, has tried to measure the Earth's rotation using a common drone gyroscope. Now it would appear as he has a huge case of RTFM. Otherwise, he would be able to look at the data sheet and he would have seen that the device is all about 100 times too coarse to be able to measure such a slow rotation. Not only that, he's under the mistaken impression that increasing the number of decimal places in a data reading will increase the accuracy. Now that's pretty funny. Oh well, at least he gave it a swing. Pity about the miss. And so, Mr. Heliocentric Suicide, as for this nine decimal places nonsense, let me just slap that right across the face real quick. You can't do that. Well, you want to know why? Because the device, as defined by the manufacturer, has only a resolution of 0.5 degrees per second. So, all your data that comes from the device has to be rounded to 0.5 a degree per second. And of course, in raw mode, you'll probably see a whole heap of extra random numbers, and if you have a look at what Wolfie sent me, when he did pretty much exactly the same thing you did, you can see that the individual readings just flap backwards and forwards, displaying a same long big string of numbers. That does not mean any of those numbers are significant beyond the 0.5. I think you're going to have to learn firstly to read a, a data sheet, and secondly how these things work, because they all start off in the chip as an integer number, and it gets converted to a real number, and here's the formula to do just that. So basically the chip is going to spit out a 16-bit number representing the measurement that it took from 0 to 2 to the power of 15 because one of the bits gets used as the sign because it's going to do plus or minus. So you basically take that 15-bit number and you divide it by the scaling factor for the range that you have selected and you will end up with the actual reading and that'll be to the nearest 0.5. This is all about trying to show that the Earth is rotating or not rotating in your case. But you're not using the right tool, mate, so you cannot make any claim about the Earth not rotating or being flat, stable, stationary, or whatever, based on a gyroscope of your choosing here. That is not how you do it. And so, Mr. Heliocentric Suicide, when you look at these two photos of these two little scales, see the plus minus, the resolution values? They are there for a very specific reason. Very much the same as what the gyroscope is trying to tell you when they say the resolution is 0 0.5 degrees per second. Fancy that. And I did see Sleeping Warrior in the comments several times trying to ask the relevant questions like, give the evidence that it's inaccurate. Well, okay, I've done that. But the real big problem with Flat Earth is that people like um, 
Nathan and Anthony Riley. These are the people that the Flatties look up to. They be somehow become the gatekeeper, yet they have no idea what they're saying yes or no to. I'm dumbfounded. Rant over. And let's not forget Rude Earther, that other flat earther who likes to be, well, tries to be rude. He's just pathetic, really. He has also tried to use a drone gyro to measure the Earth rotation and failed miserably because it's the wrong thing for the job. QED. And if you like what I've done here, how about you give me a click, a like, and a subscribe if you haven't already, and then maybe follow the link over to Heliocentric Suicide and give him a thumb in the right direction. Just to let him know what we think of his methodology. Bye guys.